Good morning. My mom and I are here, pulled off Trail Ridge Road. And this is just down the street from Milner Pass. However, the parking lot is closed. It looks like they are doing some reconstruction. And today, we're gonna go for Mount Ida, looking at 4.9 miles out with roughly a 2,200 foot elevation gain. Official start time, 722. This trail doesn't give you much of a warm up. You just start going up. And in 17 minutes, we're up here to the next trail split. We're getting up there. We're almost up to 11,400. We're coming up this real steep section. And then right out there in the background is Sheep Rock. We just popped over the hill and I can see the summit of Mount Ida way out there. And when you make it up to this point, you have knocked out a big chunk of the elevation gain. I mean, we still got a little bit to go, but it goes straight up at the beginning. And when you hit this part, this is a nice little reprieve because we've pretty much topped out at about 11,600. And this is usually where you'll get the sun. And normally, this little area is crawling with marmots, but we have not seen any. And then that mountain in the background is Jack Straw Mountain. We're coming up this thing pretty quickly. It's really not as hard as I remembered it being. It's hard though, I mean, don't get me wrong. We have been coming straight up this entire time. We've been hiking for just under one hour and we're already up here to just under 11,700. So we're moving. We've knocked out almost a thousand feet already. And we got another beautiful day. I mean, there's like zero wind up here right now. That is amazing. It makes the hike so much more enjoyable. And this is looking at the next section. We're gonna follow the trail up and then it kind of goes around this high point at about 12,100. The hike up to Mount Ida really isn't the greatest when it comes to recording because we're walking right into the sun. All right, and we have made it around that high point and we can see the summit again. I just looked at the GPS and it's showing that the summit is about 1.8 miles out as the crow flies. So maybe two total. And it looks like we're gonna get some snow up here. That's gonna make it even more epic. We're in the process of hiking downhill right now. So we need to enjoy this. And this is quite a drop up here. Yeah, this part that we're going down right now is not very much fun on the way back. Yeah, we have just come down that part right there. And like I said, it's not very much fun on the way back. We just hit the rocky section. We're gonna be dealing with this type of train for the next mile up to the summit. If you're hiking up this 
and you feel like you've lost the trail, I would cheat over here towards the ridge and not to the west. Stay over here by the ridge and you'll be much better off. We've only been hiking for about two hours and five minutes. We're crushing this trail today. That's looking over to Jagger Point. I'm counting six ptarmigans right here in front of me. Move it or lose it, guys. We've been hiking for a little over two and a half hours. We're up here at 12,500. And according to the GPS, we're looking at another half mile out to the summit with just under a 400 foot elevation gain. And we're getting up there. I'm showing maybe a quarter mile to the summit with right around a 200 foot elevation gain. And that is gonna be it right there. Yeah, that is Mount Ida. And then Crack Top and Mount Julian. And then from Mount Julian, you've got Teratoma Mountain and Jager Point. And then the one way back in the distance is Mummy Mountain. And this is looking up at the final section. That shouldn't take too long at all. That might have to be the cover shot right there. And as I pan to the left, this is looking down into the Gorge Lakes. Let's knock out this final part. Final push.
this last part's real rocky. All right, guys, and in three hours and 15 minutes, we're up here. This is the summit of Mount Ida. That's looking over to Mount Julian, Crack Top, and Chief Chili Peak. That's looking down onto a couple of the gorge lakes. I'm thinking that's Azure and Inkwell. This is awesome up here. And the snow is just making it better. Alright guys, it's 11.30. We've been sitting up here for a little over 45 minutes or so. But it's time to go. It's time to head on back. Alright, let's do it. I'm thinking this is going to take us about 2 hours and 45 minutes to come down. It's definitely going to be faster than coming up. Got a bunch of ptarmigans right in front of me here. Excuse me guys. Coming through. I normally come down closer to the ridge. However, we're trying out this trail that's a little more to the west. And this thing's pretty good. I think this is gonna work. Yeah, I'm gonna have to admit, this trail is probably a tiny bit easier than staying over closer to the ridge. However, if it was up to me, I would go up closer to the ridge because it is much more scenic over there and then I would come down this way and we have made it back down to where the trail splits 
Nice. Have I ever mentioned how much easier it is going downhill than uphill? We're heading back up this uphill section and honestly it's not as bad as it looks that's looking back up at big old mount ida and we have come down quite a bit so far we're still grinding our way up that uphill section we've done most of it and it flattens out a little bit along here so this isn't too bad but we're still going up and look at that beautiful blue sky oh my goodness i think you can see every single peak in the never summer mountain range plus you can see all the way up to clark peak too We're still going uphill. This little section is longer than what I thought it was. I mean, it's not super steep or anything, but I'm ready to go downhill, if you know what I'm saying. Almost up there. We're almost up there. And I think that's it. Oh my goodness. Whew. Let's take it downhill now. We have just made it around and down that high point with all the rocks on it. And that thing should almost have a name. I feel like that's pretty much a mountain that you have to go around right there. But we're on the downhill side of it right now. And this part of the trail goes fast. And we're on the final little uphill section on the way back. And this is going to take us back up to Marmont Rocks. Marmont Rocks. That's an unofficial name. We couldn't name it Marmont Point because there's already a Marmont Point over by the Alpine Visitor Center. So we named these Marmont Rocks instead. Made it down to the trail split, and it only took us 17 minutes to get up here this morning. So we're almost done with this thing. We're passing back by the Pooter Lake Spires. And if you go back and watch my original Mount Ida video, I called this Sheep Rock right here. That's wrong. These are called the Pooter Lake Spires. Look at the color of Pooter Lake. <laughs> Looks crazy. All right, guys. It is just now 1.55, which means it took us two hours and 25 minutes to come down, which is pretty good. Took us three hours and 15 minutes to get up two hours and 25 minutes to come down. The book says that this hike is 4.9 miles out from the trailhead, but we had to park down the street a little bit. So when you add that extra distance in, 
That's gonna put us at over 10 miles for the day. All right, Mount Ida got it. Boom, nice job. The lake really is this color. It's crazy looking. Well, we hope you enjoyed that hike. And until the next one, y'all, peace.